Grubhub Parks give you deals on the Ugh, I hate ads. was weird anyway welcome back to Ben films today I'm gonna show you how to make a Vecna mask from stranger things 4 let's get started first you'll need to download the templates from my website the link will be in the description I traced all the pieces onto four millimeter thick EVA foam then cut them out using an X-Acto knife. Some of the edges are cut on different angles, which are marked on the template. Then I heat form the pieces to have the correct curve. Then, starting at the face, I glued all the pieces together. I used hot glue, but that wasn't really the best choice. I should have used contact cement. When gluing, I made sure to leave the back of the mask open so that I would be able to get my head inside. I closed that opening in the back using Velcro. I sanded all the seams, then heat sealed the sanded areas and heat shaped some other areas like the brow. This is where the disadvantage to hot glue comes in. The seams started to open up because the, of the heat. If I had used contact cement, this wouldn't have happened. This is where I started to add some details. I glued some half round EVA foam dowels onto the neck to make Vecna's uh, vines sure i'll call them that i don't remember but i think the foam dowels i used were 15 millimeters and 20 millimeters next i cut out the eye shape from two millimeter thick foam if you make this, you'll probably have to change the inside shape of the eyes so that it fits the shape and size of your eyes. I glued them behind the eye sockets. Then I filled in the seams that won't be covered in later steps with EVA foam clay. Now this is where the fun begins. I started to cover the mask in foam clay. 
I just worked on small areas at a time, building up the clay and sculpting in all the details. For this step, I'd recommend watching some sculpting tutorials and make sure to always have pictures of Vecna nearby for reference. Also, make sure to blend the vines into the rest of the head with the clay. After sculpting all the details, I sanded down the seams and added a texture to the vines using a rotary tool. Next, I added some veins using puff paint. I then heat sealed the entire mask, then followed that by sealing it with about three coats of Mod Podge. It's painting time. As a base, I painted the whole mask an off-white color. Then Sponge painted some reds and purples on top of that. Then I mixed a very pale skin tone, using white and adding small drops of orange, blue, green, yellow, and red. I sponge painted this on the very top of the head, the back, and a bit on the veins and chin. It should be painted on, in a way where you can still see a bit of the colors underneath, but my camera died right before I painted that, and I didn't notice. I used some watered down black paint to give the face and the bottom of the vines a black wash and wiped off the extra. Next, I dry brushed the face with red. After that dried, I dry brushed some more colors like 
other shades of red, orange, pink, and yellow. And I painted the two big thick veins with yellow, orange, and pink. At this time I realized I forgot the horns on the side of the face. I carved them out of hot glue sticks, glued them in place, and painted them an off-white followed by some yellows and browns more at the base of the horns. The chin was then painted using some red, yellow, orange, pink, purple, and black. Then I glued some breathable black fabric behind the nose socket and added a small detail with hot glue. I just googled it and I think it's called the septum. I guess I learned something new today. <laughs> anyway, I painted the septum with red and a bit of purple. I then coated the whole mask in one coat of gloss Mod Podge to give it a glossy wet look. While doing this, make sure to avoid the fabric on the nose so that you will still be able to breathe. And with that, the Vecna mask is finished. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also like this video that's on screen right now. That's strange.